Hi, today we're going to hem a pair of pants. First we're going to start with our supplies. You need a tape measure, thread, a marking pencil, needles, and scissors. And of course, you need a pair of pants. Now these pants have already been pre-measured to the length that we need. Starting at the crouch, which is the seat of the pants, we're going to measure the length of the pants. So we're going down, going to measure. There we have it, 30 inches. Pants are going to be 30 inches. Got to get a little stretch there. There you go. 30 inches is the length that we need. Now that we've established that the pants should be 30 inches. Let's mark on the other side of the pants. The pants are on the wrong side, so you need your marking pencil or chalk. And you mark that line. Now, that's where the pants stop. This is the hem. The hem will be here. Now, you need uh, an allowance in here for the hem. So let's give it an inch. So take our ruler. We have our inch and we mark here and we'll mark over here. Now we're going to, again I already have it marked so I'm just showing you how to mark it across the pants. That's one inch from here to here and you use your chalk or your marking pencil again. Now we have the hem and the hem allowance. Now we're ready to cut. We're going to cut on this line. This line here, this is the part you don't want. This is the part you don't want. So, let's cut. Once you've cut, and you've cut both sides, you can discard the piece you don't need. Now, you're ready for another step. Now we're going to turn the hem up half the way. The line that we made right here, the 30 inch line, we're going to turn the hem up to that line and we will pin, put a pin all the way around, make sure it's around the bottom of the pants leg and you stay on target by staying on that line right there. I always put my pins in upward. I don't need stuck there and we're going to take this all the way around. Once you put all your pins in all the way around on the bottom of the hem, you just turned it up about a half inch. So now if you were to measure, it would measure at 30 and a half, but you want 30. So what we have to do now is we're going to fold one more time folding on this line. There you have it. Your fold is now on the line and you have a hem that won't fall apart on you right there. Now, once you've done that all the way around, let's take it all the way around on, on the hem. And you're staying on target by staying on the line. Now, you pin have pins already in so you take those pins and you pin downward this time. Your pin is going downward and you do the same for all the other pins all the way around the bottom. See how your hem is coming into play? Now it's time to hem. You need your needle and your thread. And if you've never done this before, I would suggest that your thread should be at least 12 inches, no longer because you don't want to get all tangled up. So use a ruler, measure, add just a little bit more, maybe a half an inch or so, so that you can uh, lock your thread at the end. 
and 12 inches. You keep your thread like that because that keeps it from tangling up. Now we're ready to hem. I always start on what I call the hump, but it's actually either the center of the pants. So let's get started. Start by threading and locking. Put your first one through and then you have this little loop here. Can you see the loop? There's a little loop. You didn't take it all the way through. So you go through that little loop and you lock your thread. Do it twice. Your needle through. All the way through. Leave the little loop there. Go through the loop. Now, go all the way around. Do the same thing. You can take your stitches the way you want. Try to space them no more than an inch apart. So, let's thread it through. Always wait and leave that little loop right here. You're going to go through that loop. Locks the stitch in and continue to do this. Facing. You can make it close if you want it close. But I just prefer to have a little space right there. Now sometimes your stitches can be too faced apart and you will get your feet or your toe caught up in it. <laughs> so let's just keep it to at least an inch apart. Now we're going to do this all the way around. Not if we've gone, we've gone all the way around and we're ending it. We're going to end just like we began with the thread and you have your loop. There's your loop right here and you put your thread through it, pull it, do it again to lock it, needle through, through the loop and lock. Cut. And there you have your hem. This is the right side. See how smooth that is? And there's your hem. Look at that nice hem. Enjoy. Go get all your pants that you need to have hem and start hemming. If you need to start over, just start it over step by step and enjoy DorothySmithDesigns.com.